Hello, my dear students. Today we are going to learn a new chapter from Vistas, and that is the enemy, which is written by Paul S. Buck. Let us talk about the author before going into the story. Paul S. Buck was born on June twenty sixth, eighteen ninety two, in Hillsboro, West Virginia, USA. When she was three months old, she was taken to China by her parents, where she spent almost forty years of her life. That is why she is conversant with the customs and traditions of that part of the world. She was a bilingualist and was adept in reading and writing English and Chinese. Her best-known novel, *The Good Earth*, has China as background and was first. published in 1931 in 1938 she won the nobel prize in literature she has authored over 70 books on a variety of topics students when we analyze the story and its title we find the enemy is an apt title for the story that has second world war as the background that eventually culminates in dropping of atom bombs on hiroshima and nagasaki by america under these circumstances an american prisoner of war sailor by no chance could be treated as a friend by the japanese students in order to understand the chapter in depth we need to discuss its introduction in details as well okay So the story, the enemy by Paul S. Buck, has everything in it that makes it an anti-war story. But at no stage in the story does the author spell out categorical condemnation of war. Remember it, okay? The de-glorification of war is hinted at through the near fatal plight of American prisoner of war. His condition speaks. for itself and sets the reader thinking about the illogicality of war and he is reminded of poems like the man he killed by thomas hardy or a poem like after blenheim by robert southey students the story also deals with the conflict that the doctor and his wife are face to face with when they try to reason out their action of helping the prisoner of war they are reminded that his country is at war with theirs but there is always a world beyond all reasons the world of professional loyalty and the world of piety now let us do the assessment of the message that this story provides us students you must have seen that the story the enemy is very lengthy therefore no writer will waste their ink in order to convey only one message in such a long story therefore we find numerous messages that is conveyed to the readers so the first one is anti war story see having the backdrop of second world war it is an anti war story which aims at deglorification of war and highlights the endeavors of the author to awaken the feeling of the reader against the horrors of war she does it by presenting the helpless and pitiable state of a young american sailor who has to weather the atrocity of nature and the hostility of average japanese in an artistic manner and without sounding didactic paul s buck warns the people of the world against waging war next message of the story is humanness in war at another level the writer wants to convey the message that if at all war becomes inevitable how should a helpless prisoner of war like tom be treated the soldier at the front suffering the bullets 
should be treated as a human being first and an enemy afterwards. After all, it is not the fault of the particular warring individual if he belongs to the enemy camp. If he is pricked, he feels the same pinch that you feel. Kindness is the key word that Pearl showers on Tom through her mouthpiece. The Dr. Sadao family. In her story, the author advocates the lesson of universal brotherhood. Who knows if every individual, high or low, in this world starts thinking on these lines, man may be able to bring the kingdom of heaven on this earth. And the students, we have seen the same message in the poetry, keeping quiet as well, if you have learned it thoroughly. The next message is patriotism and the medical profession. See, service of the wounded and ailing is the best example of patriotism that a doctor can exhibit. The novelist here wants to impress upon the doctors of the world that they have no nationality, religion, caste or creed. They are simply human beings and residents of the world. The entire globe is their home and they have been trained in their specialized fields to serve mankind. They should behave in a moral manner and should shed all biased emotions. Like the doctor, when confronted with reservations, a sense of nationalism, they are expected to rise above all this and make frantic efforts to save human life. The author also wants all wives of doctors to be like Hannah. Let's move towards the theme of the story. Now, story is a conflict between man's inherent humanness and the hatred and prejudices created by pseudo-nationalism and war. Another theme that runs parallel is that people of the world are inherently the same despite the superficial differences of skin color, cultures and nationalities etc. and that we should consider people of other countries as our friends and not enemies. Students, in the story we find six major protagonists. We will discuss their character sketch first and then we will move towards the story. So first character is Dr. Sadao Hoki's father. Next is Dr. Sadao Hoki. After that General Takima. Next comes Hana, wife of Dr. Sadao. Then we have Dr. Sadao's servants. At last we have Tom, the American prisoner of war. Students, let's throw some light on the character sketch of Dr. Sadao's father. He was a true patriot. He used to think about Japan's progress and development. He used to say that stepping stones are the future for France and for that young children like Dr. Sadao should contribute. We find Dr. Sadao's father very much interested in each and everything that is seen in his country. He never joked. He was a very serious man and in order to give proper education to Dr. Sadao, he had taken lots and lots of pain. In the story, we see that Dr. Sadao's father was extremely patriot and he was not in favor of using foreign goods but for the education of his child he had compromised with his principles and sent him to America for higher studies. Then we find uh, him as downright Japanese and he stepped in and devoted to his culture and tradition. Dr. Sadao knew fully that his father is not going to allow him to get married to somebody else. Therefore, when he met with Hana, he confirmed that she was a Japanese 
and then only he fell in love let's move towards general takima now students it would not be wrong to say about general takima that for him charity begins at home even though the serious second world war was in progress in its full fury and a doctor of the caliber of dr sadao would have been a boon for the wounded soldiers on the front he was kept back as the general needed his services although it was rumored that he used to beat his wife yet somewhere in the corner of his heart there is tenderness and humanness in spite of his promise to the doctor to send his private assassins to wipe out the american soldier in the doctor's house the general did not do so either he forgets it due to his uh, preoccupation of his own illness or overlook it out of pity and human kindness students another thing that we notice in general is that he has a subtle sense of humor he talks about the german ruthlessness and american sentimentality in a humorous way his views about the doctors trained in germany are interesting one can't help smiling when the general says that the german doctors would consider the operation successful even if the patient died after the operation in the author's own words he had an unusual sense of humor students when his country is at war with america but he certainly has a soft corner for the country he took his degree in princeton and understands americans and within his heart of hearts does not consider him bad when all is said and done it will be wrong to believe that he is anti national he is certainly loyal to his country and would not like anyone to doubt his integrity and patriotism students now we will discuss dr sadao's character sketch dr sadao was a papa's boy and revered him like a demi god all through his life he remembered his father's observation about the islands in the south seas being stepping stones for japan he always did everything his father said his father wanted him to be skillful surgeon and a scientist and he came true to his father's expectations all through japan sadao was known as a renowned surgeon he has a scholarly bent of mind and is an efficient scientist also as a part time hobby he was perfecting a discovery aimed at rendering wounds absolutely clean the general's unfailing faith in his skills speaks volumes for his efficiency dr sadao has great regards for the feelings and sentiments of his father in spite of the fact that he is liked hana whom he had met in america he did not forget that his father would not accept her unless he was convinced that she was pure in her race so he decides to wait for his father's approval dr sadao is a very caring and loving husband and has regards for the views of his wife on finding the prisoner of war on the shore he seeks complete approval of his wife before bringing the wounded man in again he accepts her suggestions that the servants be told about the american when he when the servants choose to leave their house he walks up to kitchen to help his wife in fact in a vital issues concerning their lives he consults hana and values her suggestions however where his task of a professional surgeon is concerned he is very meticulous and turns a blind eye and a deaf ear to everything else except his patients he has a religious devotion towards his profession even after many years he clearly remembers the words of his professor ignorance of the human body is the surgeon's cardinal sin then again to operate without as complete knowledge of the body as if 
you had made it. Anything less than that is murder. The precision with which he extracts the bullet from near the young wound is remarkable. He brought back to life a man on the verge of death. On the whole, the doctor is basically good at heart. Towards the end of the story, he feels restless and can't help because of the American whom the general had promised to get murdered through his private assassins. Finally, his helping the prisoner of war is making good his escape asserts that the doctor has a heart of gold. The servants coming back after the departure of the American yet again proves that he is a kind-hearted man and his juniors have great regards for him. In sum, Dr. Sadao is a good, dutiful, loving and a professionally sound man. Let's talk about Hana, the wife of Dr. Sadao. Through the portrayal of Hana, who maintains a balance of the qualities of head and heart. The writer projects her own concept of an ideal woman. She is a perfect homemaker who is capable of discharging her duties as a homemaker and a housewife as well. She very elegantly accepts the refusal of working of the servants and uh, she does not have any annoyance regarding them and as a human being she keeps all the priorities above anything else in spite of all the tension worry and fear she carries herself with dignity while dealing with her irritated and revolting servants she knows fully well how to maintain a distance without losing her cool she is not the woman to death her before her domestic help yet she is very good at giving away payments of the servants in sum she is an epitome of femininity she plays the perfect wife a capable and devoted mother and a skilled homemaker let's talk about tom now who is the american prisoner of war he appears to be very fortunate very lucky because out of all odds he was saved the escaped american prisoner of war braves the bullet furious waves and rocks and is washed ashore in front of a duty conscious and a downright professional surgeon thus the inimical japanese shore becomes his best friend torture suffering and hunger have made him skeletal but even in his unconscious state he has a strong indomitable will dr sadao's observation that the man has extraordinary vitality and that this man will live in spite of all are very meaningful on gaining consciousness after a successful operation and a bit of recuperation he is rightly fearful as he knows he is in enemy territory full of genuine terror he asks the doctor what are you going to do with me are you going to hand me over but nothing of the sort happens because lady luck smiles on him and he is destined to live more his remaining alive is nothing short of a miracle but miracles happen in this world only the doctor acts as an angel for him and saves his life a second time by making his making his escape possible the course of his life particularly in the doctor's house compels the readers to believe in the proverb where there is a will there is a way let's talk about the servants of dr sadao yumi the governess two servants in the kitchen and the old gardener are all simple minded people they are incapable of original thinking their minds digest the thoughts fed to him by the authorities and are patriots to a fault when hana requests yumi to wash the wounded man she refuses their jingoistic attitude has an 
undercurrent of the fear of punishment at being a party to the entire incident. Self-preservation is a natural phenomenon amongst all living creatures and the servants are no exception. They do not want any harm to themselves or to their families. On examining their mental makeup minutely, one finds that all of them are a confused lot and their love and loyalty towards their country stands in sharp contrast against their love of Dr. Sadao's family. That is why, in spite of the fact that, all, that they all leave the doctor's house, none of them betrays the secret of the American soldier presence in the house. However, as soon as the American leaves the house, all of them return to his routine. Students, we will see the story in our next video. Till then, take